name is Adrian Nanchev and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest uploads. Now what to do if people laugh at you? Firstly, that's a fear, that's an objection you've got to overcome. So what? It's not really a problem, so what? There's that like saying, first they laugh at you, uh, first they ignore you, then laugh at you, then accept you, then love you. Something like that. So laughing only really means that you're standing up for something. When you stand up for something, that means you're standing for something you give a shit in. And these people often are, are haters because the thing they give a shit in, they've long, long, long given up on, on standing up for it. Or they're jealous of what you're doing, or they're jealous of you becoming the person that they want you to be. And that they're here, and then you're, you're going that way, you're doing your own thing, and they want to pull you back down here. So they're laughing at you for one reason or another. But also, who gives a shit? The way I see it is that you're, you're, taking your, you're lifting your head out above the trenches, and you're going out into no man's land, and, and, and you're doing something that no one dares to do and pe some people will laugh at you, some people will be courageous some people will think, some people will think you're courageous and some people will be like bloody hell he's a leader people will have different opinions and thoughts and feelings of you and you've got to go with it I've, I've realised, I've learned very recently like yesterday that when you start something you first you've got to get their attention like a video secondly you've got to get them criticising you thirdly you've got to get them hating you and fourth they will then accept you, they will then follow you, appreciate and admire you. Because when you first get criticised, criticisms and haters, that means you're standing up for something and that also means that these people are talking about you. That means you are, the general public, you're splitting them in the middle. If there's haters, and there's also lovers. People that hate what you're doing and people that love what you're doing. And when you polarise, when you polarise the marketplace, that means that some people give a shit about you and some people don't give a shit about you. But 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 both of you, both of them will talk about you when you're not online. They'll, word of mouth, they will talk about you and that is invaluable. So this fear of people laughing at you, get over it. Get over it. I, I, I'm getting over it. It's taking me time just like open up from my shell and it's like I realise I, I realize what I needed to do. I realised what I needed to get, I realised different, different software and different social medias but then it's like okay I need to actually do it, I need to do it and I don't care you know what the consequences are, I need to step out of the comfort zone and do it, create and be seen. So this, um, this fear, okay one other thing actually with regards to that, getting over the fear and getting over the laughter, in another video in, the, in this playlist I talk about how your desire, your drive, your motivation has got to be stronger than your fear. My drive to run a marathon and my motivation has got to be stronger than my fear of tripping over a rock. And like, there's an analogy. A mentor and a student. The student wants to learn from the mentor. The mentor says to meet me at the beach, the seaside at 4am. Okay, let's go, 4am. They're, 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 they're at 4am, the water is up to their chest or their torso, or you know, it's quite deep. And the mentor grabs the, t the student head and dunks his head under the water and he can't breathe, he's splashing around and blah blah, blah you know, the usual stuff, suffocating and all the rest, drowning, whatever. And then he raises his head up out of the water and the student then asks him, why did he do that? Why did he put my head under water? What was that all about? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? And the mentor then says to him, your desire for air has got to be greater than... No, wait, hold on. Shit, what did he say? Um... Oh yeah, your desire for air has got to be, no, pardon me, your desire for success has got to be as great as your desire for air. Your desire to, to succeed has got to be greater than your desire for air. So that means that your desire to succeed, to achieve, to be known, to be liked, to be trusted has got to be greater than your fear of being laughed at. Your desire to be respected, your desire to make money online, your desire to be free has got to be greater than your desire to fall, to make mistakes, to trip over, to be laughed at. Your desire to achieve something and to make a name for yourself, even if you're not an entrepreneur, your desire has to be stronger than your fear. If it's not stronger, you will never succeed because you'll be trapped by fear and you'll be paralysed by fear. 
your drive, like the marathon, my drive to run a marathon has got to be greater than my fear of tripping over. And until you make that drive greater than your fear, you will not succeed. So the question of the day is, why are you frightened of people laughing at you? Why are you frightened of people laughing at you? Since I heard this principle like last night that people need to criticise you and then hate you, I then realised to myself, hang on a minute, I I'm going to win either way. I realised that if I have lovers and haters, I'm going to win either way, because either way people are talking about me off offline. And it's like, that's brilliant, that's exactly what I need. So, I'm not frightened of anything. I'm just frightened of how slow my business... <laughs> I'm just frightened of how slow my business is growing, how slow I'm getting new subscribers, how slow this, how slow that. But I know over time that will explode because the way the algorithm works, the way the, way the world works. So what are you frightened of? Also remember that this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below, below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest uploads. How cool is that?